Hello everyone and welcome back to another video of Inscription. Uh, we have something super fun on the books today. Uh, I, I've been having some ideas on what, what kind of cool videos uh, I could do for Inscription. What kind of fun challenges I can make for myself. Um, because we've beaten all the, in chal the challenges now. And other than trying to get items, I haven't unlocked all the items. Um, it's real funny because on our last video we beat Skullstorm, but uh, I don't even have a lot of the useful items for that. That There's lots of good items that you can use to help you get past the Grizzlies and stuff that I didn't even know about until afterwards because I have never looked anything up. But I just did because I feel like I've beaten everything there is, so I, I looked up a bunch of stuff and apparently I'm missing a bunch of items. But uh, uh, other than that though, what other cool things we're going to do, we can do? And I, I have one today, and we're going in with what's, what's probably my favorite deck, the Blood deck. Uh, because the reason why is because we have Big Daddy, Big Daddy 3-7 down here. And what we're going to be trying to assemble is a deck of big boys. Can we win with big, juicy boys? I'm talking grizzlies, moose. Birds, the big three, like all the three costers. We're going to try and get as many big chunky boys as we can. It's probably not going to go that well, but we're going to try to abuse this game to our fullest potential to see <laughs> how many big beefy boys we can get. Okay. <clears throat> so this is our starting deck. We got the black goat to help get our big boys out. They got the buck, we got a mole to help survive long enough to get our big boys out, but we ain't doing that today. We are turboing. Turbo big boys. So basically, we want spaces that are going to give us cards. Um, and uh, making our boys bigger. We're only allowed to make our big boys bigger. We are not allowed to make any other card bigger at, at fire pits. Only the biggest of the biggest boys. And I'm going to try to stop saying big boys now. Uh, so. Here's what I'm wondering. Uh, so we have to choose our card based on. Based on uh, power here. So this this guy becomes the biggest. So we're going to we're going to grab him. And then we're going to grab. Uh, Bloodhound because he's also big but those those were not cards. I was looking for I was hoping to get maybe like grizzly or something in there um, So it makes me think we should go kill one off Yeah Let's go kill one of them off Just because they're not they're not big boys Let's put him on our chunky guy All right, and I decided that we don't need to put any of the challenges on because this might be hard enough on its own <clears throat> Our next card is our big our big guy, so we're just gonna we're just gonna we'll wait out We're just gonna drop the mole and call it a day All right, so we got this guy we play the goat we play the buck. Smack for three. Can we do it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Alright, that's fine. Wait, I, I think we can beat that guy. I think we can beat that guy. Let, hold on. Let's try this again. Alright, so... So we know this is our next card. So we just do nothing the first turn. We might get somewhere faster. We just grab this guy. We just, oops, we pump out the black goat. Pump out the big boy. And we just smack him here. All right. Uh, we'll just pass. All right, they're just dropping them one at a time here. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's grab another squirrel. Okay, okay, it's getting risky. Getting risky here. Let's take out their army. All 
All right. Scoop. No, 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 no. You don't get the luxury. Uh, do we get a tooth out of this? We don't. I'll take. I'll take your. I'll take your offer. All right. Leshy. Uh, so. This gets us pelts. And we can make our boy bigger. Or we can try to get a big boy. <laughs> Damn it. Reroll. Hey, this is a big guy. That's a that's a six. We'll take him. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how we're ever gonna play that. Okay. Uh, we're gonna put this on. Uh. Uh. Hold on here. Hold on here. We put this on. This. Yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about right there. All right, so we're just gonna we're just gonna see how strong big boy is here. Dropping him in. Drinking game here. You know, take a drink every time I say big boy because I'm gonna say it a lot. All right, we have no possible way of getting this card out. What card is that over there? River Otter. I don't remember ever seeing that. Uh, sure, we can grab this guy. Smack for three. And that's game. Strong, strong man was enough. All right, let's look for something really big. That's kind of big. Okay, so our biggest was the the dire wolf pup. I mean, that's that's a pretty big card. Oh, it's changed. Uh, that's a pretty big card. Okay, so we can. All right, he's gone. Never mind. Uh, the rattler transforms, or this transforms. Let's make this transform. I mean, this is a pretty big card too. I shouldn't be trying to play just the moose buck. I mean. All right, well, we, this is a moose buck game. Uh, question is, I think we drop him just right here. Oh, he actually moves the stuff out of the way. Okay. Boom. Uh, that's a shame. My power. Okay, the snake is kind of dangerous. Alright, alright. Uh, we're not gonna play... I didn't mean to play that. I kind of just want to play one big guy at a time. But, I think we'll make an exception this turn. So, it should be the biggest he can get is right here. Yeah. Also, I want to see him transform. Oh, no! Well, he's gone. Okay, he transforms into... An unnamed thing. A 5-5, five five, though. That's that's beefy. Also, how many of these we got? Oh! Big chunker! Big deck! <laughs> that's a big deck you got there. Why, right, thank you. Okay, so this has no chance of getting us something big. Unless... Unless it gets us the golden pelt which we can then trade for into a 7-7 later if we get lucky. So I say we check this out first. Mostly because I don't want to hit another sacrifice space yet. So let's see if we get the gold. Son of a gun. And we can't accept that. All right, so is going to... Um, I don't think we can afford to sacrifice anything else. These are the only four cards in our deck. All right, let's see what's over here. Let's see what's over here. Is there anything big? There's another guy. That's a big boy. That's a big boy. And he's immediately going to go away. 
There he goes. No. No. Do we have to do this? Come on. Ah, uh, no. That's a shame, man. That's a shame. Okay, so I think the only good thing to trans to 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 put into the health is the Rattler. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna pull it away because I don't want to risk losing it. Okay, can we beat a boss with four cards in our deck? The smoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming in with big weight. Bring fish. Bring big meat. Okay. <clears throat> so the problem is on this guy is the um <clears throat> the buckets, which shouldn't be a problem actually because the moose moves around. So as long as he's our only car, he shouldn't actually it shouldn't actually matter. Oh wait, he has this stupid guardian symbol. Oh shoot. Uh, here, have a squirrel. Uh, okay. Let's grab this guy. And... Okay, so what's gonna happen is he's gonna make a 4-2 and then we're gonna move over. We're gonna get hit for 4. And then he's gonna hit here and make a 4-2 and we're gonna get hit for 4. Okay, I think we can actually get past this though. I think we can get past this. Okay. So... If we just drop this guy right here, it should be okay. We're gonna hit for four. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll move out of the way, lose that guy. Okay, so we cannot race eight damage. But we can drop a big chunky guy. Hit for nine real quick. <laughs> big boys stomping in the air force ones. Big boy. Alright, here we go. Euro yearly right here. Let's give us that 7-7 seven, seven real quick. Oh, that's a big cost, but this is a small dude. Small dude. We can't this is a big boy. Cause he he gets he gets a big. So we'll grab this guy. Okay. So first map's down. First map is down. Ooh. So we're probably going to take some time and check all three of these out. So let's let's see what cards we get from this guy. Let's first let's see if we even win it. Power we probably win. All of our cards have sigils. So we we can't lose this. <laughs> Putting this sigil on this guy was such a bad idea. All right, let's see what uh, let's see what act what what cards we get access to. We can get a fecundity field mice that gets bigger when it kills stuff and creates two more fecundity field mice. <laughs> that sounds <laughs> broken. Uh, we can get a wolf cub that flies and also blocks flying and transforms. So none of these are like big chunkers. But this is such a powerful effect. But it's, but it does, listen, it gets bigger as it kills stuff. That's kind of big, right?
and that builds dams. Oh, the dams can't be sacrificed. The dams will also have the... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I like this. We're going to back out and see what our, our other options are. Oh, never mind. Well, I just got rid of that map again. Damn it, that's the, not the first time I've done that. Okay, so I guess I, <laughs> I, I have beaten this game in all kinds of ways, and I still have not learned my lesson that you cannot back out on the first base. So um, I think we want to hit the fire, and actually picking our cost is exactly what we want to do because we want three. Yeah, that's what we want. So that's the, this is the gold mine space. The blood space is the gold mine space. Okay. So we can only increase the size of our big guys. Um, I don't mind increasing Ouroboros' health. I also don't mind increasing this guy's health. So let's do that. I really want to try doing it again, but I'm not going to. Wait, what did it say? I don't know what it said. I guess there's additional dialogue for the tentacle guys. Okay. Alright, we got Grizzly Boy. We got the mole. So let's just slap. Slap big, big Grizzly. I'm over here doing Yu-Gi-Oh combos, playing my whole hand on the first turn. Okay, let's see what else we can get. That's a decent one. I don't think we'll be able to play it though. Oh, we're gonna be able to play it. Oh yeah. Well, maybe. No, we won't. Yeah. Nope, Grizzly's too strong. <laughs> too, too strong. It's nice to have a Grizzly on my side for once. Although we're about to lose him, I think. Oh, we want this one. That's what we want. Okay, so what can we do? This seems like a terrible idea. But I have to respect the big boys. Oh my god, I want to put unkillable on the... Um, why can't I put it on... I really want to put it on the, um, the mole that has the blood but I bet you it won't let me do it because it has blood alright so here's the question do we want to keep our our growing Ouroboros that, that grows every time it dies I feel like we do cause like that's a big that's a big chunker but I also don't want to lose my actual chunkers. All right, here's what we're going to do, baby. We're going to get an unkillable grizzly. Yeah, I did it. I just killed off a rare card. All right. Totem battle, here we come. It's stinky. It's going to lower my big boys. Oh, dude, we've been getting so lucky with this mole. <laughs> Alright, drop the mole. Drop the dude. Smack for three. And then pray. Uh-oh. We just gotta pray. Uh, straw card. That's a big, big chunker. All right, this is getting kind of scary here. All right, we need to start hitting him. It's going to be another turn. Oh, shoot. Dang it. All right, let's try that again. So the problem is is our moose has that guardian symbol, so I can't strategically place him to deal an extra three damage right away. The other problem is, stupid, this guy costs six bones, which is just never going to happen. Um, 
So no matter where I put my... No matter where I put this guy, he's going to come back right here. So I can put him here. But then he's going to he's going to get moved around. And I'm going to have the same result unless I use an item, which I can use. Not a big deal. We can just use this item and we'll survive. I don't want to use um I don't want to lose our candlelight yet. So I feel like we're going to need it for the boss fights. So if I can use items throughout the fight, then I'm going to. To save myself. Alright, we should be fine here. Yeah, okay. And then now we get to drop a big chunkin' dude. And this guy stays where he is, uh, so I'm actually going to put him here. Big boy! Alright, let's grab another card. Uh, we cannot play that yet. Alright, uh, let's grab... This guy. We're just, we're just trucking along. Alright. Alright, so we can play our dude, but he, we, we have a rule. We can only play him where he is his biggest, which is right here. So, I'm not going to kill off my guy to do that. Um, but. So we'll just, we'll just pass, I guess. Jesus. Uh, let's grab another card. Concede? Uh, what are you, crazy? Uh, there's no concede in my friend. Yeah! Seven! Uh, it only gave us one tooth. Okay, so... Here's where we can turn in our pelts for cards, and then we could also just get a card here. So let's see what they got. Let's see what we can get. We didn't bring any pelts. Oh, he just gives us teeth. Uh... That's probably fine. Yeah. Unless this had a black goat in it, that'd be pretty bad. Uh, we don't have anything great for tribes. If there's the elk head, I guess we'll grab it. There isn't, so... <laughs> Let's grab this, I guess. It's a pretty stupid symbol. Ooh, wait, actually it's not. <laughs> Bones are kind of good. Ah, shoot. We're going to hit the mushroom space, which means we're going to lose... We're going to make an extra big boy. Okay. Is this? Can this not be the guardian one? Thank you. Oh my god, how much stuff is coming in? Alright, so in that case, we just wanna... Oh, well, I already placed him, I didn't mean to. But we're gonna hit for three, we're gonna block... One, kill the... Actually won't kill it. So we'll get hit for two... Four, ah, we might lose here. I think he needed to be placed here first. I'm not sure. Oh, they move, actually. Oh, if they move, then that might make this a little easier. Yeah, we're, we got a pretty good cushion. We are going to get hit for four. And then we're going to get hit for f four again, but we're going to deal four. Yeah. Because we have big chunkin' dudes. Chunkers! Oh yeah, transform my man. Oh, that's right. I don't have the bones, but he he's gonna come down. Oh, I just got the bones. He's got the bone symbol. Oh, uh, shoot, my dude. Are you ready for Big Rattler? It's, it's the rattlesnake Stone Cold Steve Austin coming down from the top rope. <laughs> That was fun. Alright, let's see what other card we can get. 
We've been doing good. We got we got a deck of all big big honking dudes. Oh. <laughs> That's perfect. A black goat is the exception. He is what fuels our muscles. He's like the steroid card. We need steroids if we're gonna be successful. Here's the thing. <laughs> this sucks because now it's gonna have the stupid symbol. But it is a 614 and we can't argue with those results. We showed up to the strongman competition and we are cheating! Ah oh, shoot, it's a sacrifice sigil. That's okay though. Maybe we can put the black goat on something. Oh, perfect. We couldn't do it. That, I did not know that it was even possible. That you could, you could just fail that space. That's crazy. Alright, so this is the hardest fight, except for maybe the Prospector. Because we don't want to drop too many big guys, because they cost a lot of resources. Alright, so we have a 614 that we can we can literally one-shot this guy. <laughs> Our mole's too precious. We're gonna use the black goat. We can literally one-shot this dude. Bam. <laughs> Beefy boys. Well, I'm not gonna have squat for trading. But who cares? I'm just gonna take this one and call it a day. Uh, let's grab a card. Rattler, huh? Bam! Who needs strategy? Who needs strategy when you can come in with 10 pounds of muscle? Except it's a moose, so it's like, two tons of muscle. Yeah. Who needs a plan? Shoot. 3-3 three, three is not bad. Hodag probably fits our deck better. Because he can get bigger. But it's not permanent though. I think it should be. It should be permanent. Amalgam's all the tribes though. Not that that really matters. I don't give a crap. Um, so I think we have to grab Amalgam because he's got the biggest power. Although I don't want him. So if we can get rid of him I will try. Okay, this seems like a sh shitty map. Uh, yeah, let's let's bounce from this map here. Let's try. Let's try that again. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 mama. I mean, that's just that's just the way to go. That is the- that is what I want to see in these kinds of runs, okay? That is the kind of thing that just fuels my mo- I mean, we're picking blood, I mean, that's the whole frickin' point of our deck. Yeah, get crushed. Barely. Uh, well, we have to go Rattler. Because- okay, this tutors, though. This- this tutors our boys. Let's- let's go utility. We need some utility in our deck, okay? More importantly though... We need duplicates! To make bigger boys! <laughs> Ooh, I could duplicate the tutoring. I could duplicate the thing that lets us play these things easily. So we could have three of these effects in the deck. I could just straight up duplicate my 614. Which is what I'm gonna do. I really hope it gives us a different symbol. Like, holy crap. Flying would be perfect. Shit! <laughs> it's, it's the same symbol. I did say something. Okay. And then we're hitting fire pit so we can maybe put the amalgam in twice, twice or something. 
You see, this is the kind of hands we're talking about right here. Because, check this out. We just drop this down, grab our 614, play the black goat, and we're just playing Yu-Gi-Oh at this point. We're gonna drop it right here. We're just, we're just over here comboing with our big penis strategy. Garbage. Yes. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're only allowed to put big, beefy guys here. So, um, six fourteen's big enough. I'm down for the rather again, but I'm also down to just get rid of amalgam. So let's see if we can get rid of him. Uh, now nah, he's a three seven now. That's fine. Um, is this the, this is just the three one? That's fine, we have a grizzly though. So we'll just drop the black goat, play the grizzly, and we'll play him right here. Boom. And he'll take out that entire line. We can grab a card. It's the Mantis that we don't need. Actually, playing the Mantis ain't bad right now, because check this out. Grab a Squirrel. Play the Mantis. Grab... the Mole. Play the Mole. Play the Moose Buck. Bam. Destruction. Destruction. That wasn't even necessary. The Grizzly had it all by himself. But you know what? DESTRUCTION! MUSCLE! I am, uh, the Armstrong Alchemist. <laughs> uh, we don't need to look at the others, we want blood. We are the blood deck, there it goes! There it goes! Oh, I thought we were gonna see all nine of them. Oh, our- Oh, our answers from God have been answered. Or our questions. We have an unkillable black goat. We can now summon like all of the big dudes. We're grabbing this. We are unstoppable. We're unstoppable. I'm sorry, but we are unstoppable. The biggest, beefiest boys in town. All right, so um, we can. Oops. We can try to make. Amalgam even bigger, but I'm tempted to just give Moose Buck Because he's he's kind of our smallest boy right now and that says something <laughs> that, <laughs> That's saying something we could put muscle on the black goats uh, Let's just uh, Hold on hold on hold on here. Hold on here Does it save instantly like can I test this and then back out? It does not save uh, I'm not gonna do it again. It's just gonna be a 4-7, which is pretty darn good, but a 5-7 would have been great. Uh, this is a waste. Alright, Ford, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, we'll play the Black Goat. It's unkillable. Who gives a crap? Uh, he goes back to our hand. And we play a 4-5 on turn 1 that transforms. All right, they cancel that damage out. That's fine. Now what we can do is just draw cards because we have black goat. Okay, perfect. Well, we have to have a squirrel to play the black goat, but that's fine. Five damage will race. In fact, it just wins. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my, oh my goodness gracious. Reroll, reroll. This is kind of a big dude. This is kind of a big dude. But it's not really what I want to see. All right, we have to go to the fire pit. All right, it's power again. All right, so it, it doesn't save, so check this out. Instead of making a save state, oh wait, you do have to make a save state because it does save if it kills a guy. 
Well, I just fucked this up, but anyway, we have a 4-7 now. We have a 4-7 for 2, and we also have a 4-7 for 3, so it is what it is. If we can get the elk head right here, we're bussing. Damn. Okay. Well, whatever. Fuck it. We'll have, we have birds that do something, I guess. The our amalgam makes bones is essentially what that does. Because he won't do much of anything else. Except for smack the enemy with his meaty arms. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, it just doesn't get better than this. It just doesn't get better. Good douche. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's gone. Well, see you later. Uh, okay, so what's the plan here? I think we just draw a squirrel. And we just drop our guy that transforms into a 5-5. Five five. What are they gonna do against that? Get him! Oh, he has double strike. I did not see that at all. Oh, shit. Too bad this fight's over. See you later, prospector. Get dumpstered. Hmm. Hmm. Um, uh, I think Mole Man is the better card here. Okay. This has been way more successful than I thought it was going to be. Question is, where do what space do we want to go? Do we want to try getting the elk head? Because we have tons of elks. Or do we want to sacrifice something? I don't think so. Our deck is good enough. I wish this card wasn't in it and it would be just perf. Just straight perf. Which we could get rid of them. We could put this sigil on somebody. So we can do that or get a totem. So let's see what the totems do. Let's see if we get a wood... Or not wood, an elk. We don't get an elk head, so let's just... Let's just back out. Okay. So I think we actually do just wanna... Just get rid of this guy. Oh, we could put him on the amalgam. This guy already moves around, so putting him on him is useless. Uh, I actually don't like this symbol. It's a blessing and a curse. If I put it on him, it does nothing. So we're just going to do that. All it does, all that effectively did is just get rid of the card, which is what I wanted to do. Because I just want the strongest boys. None of that mediocre crap. Is that the big? That's the big chunker. Alright. Uh, we'll play the black goat. We'll drop a, a... A big fat moose buck. And we will draw a squirrel next. Oh, I could have dropped a grizzly right there too. Ah, uh, shoot. Uh, my grizzly's unkillable, so that part doesn't really bother me so much. Um, okay, so what we'll do is we'll play the black goat. We'll play the grizzly for an extra four damage. He's unkillable. We'll lose the moose buck. But that's okay. Because we got grizzlies coming at him all day. Um, let's draw a card. Sweet. 
Um, in that case, let's just drop the amalgam. All right. Berkey and Daniel. Wait, what does what, 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 what does this do? Frozen away when a card breathing sigil perishes, a card creature inside is released. Okay. Um, I think we want a squirrel because we can just drop a grizzly because of our our goat greatest of all time goat our goat goat smack big damage oh no not my big boys um let's draw a card mantis uh, I don't think he will steal The moon is waning. Yeah, the moon is about to be crying. That's cool. I haven't noticed the particles blowing around before. Um, we have a tutor, so we don't really care about the card. So what we're going to do is just go get this. Go get our 612. Play the black goat. Play the buck. Oh yeah, draw me another big, big chunkin' dude. We're not allowed to play him other than here, but we're gonna make an exception. Just, just to get the damage down on the board. Look at all these big booties. Oh, the black goat. Black goat plays black goat. Black goat plays black goat. Oh, yeah. Look at our bone pile. <laughs> oh, we're about to do a honking amount of damage. Only four. That's how much he is. So, we're about to do 18. I mean, it's not the most we've done, but that's pretty good. Well, that wasn't half bad. That wasn't half bad at all. That was a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. I thought I thought if we would go in there with the big boys, we were going to have a deck that was really hard to play, but making sure that uh we had that black goat effect going into it really helped us. I think we got a black goat on one of our first picks and that just fueled the strategy because we were able to put it onto the mole and that really allowed the deck to kick off. Because we were every game we were drawing hands where we could drop a big dude turn one every time. And sometimes your placing matters. Um, but other than that, they kind of carry their way. Once they get big enough, they kind of just carry their way through the boss fights. So we got lucky. We got we got Yugi luck. Yugi amounts of luck on our starting hands. Like we were just able to drop the 614 a couple times and but that was super fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I'm definitely be doing more goofy videos for inscription. Um, if you'd like to see me do harder runs of any of these um, kind of challenges that I come up with, let me know. I, I'll be happy to put on any uh, scales, any of the any of the challenges. <clears throat> while trying to attempt some of these. So let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that nonsense. And thanks for watching. See you next time.